In this video, we take you to America's largest RV show in Hershey, Pennsylvania. We show you the latest in RVs. We share some handy RV shopping tips. And sample the product that makes Hershey the sweetest place on earth. The Hershey RV Show is really a happening. There are so many folks here and there's a feeling of excitement in the air. They have got their running shoes on and it's like the start line of a great big race and they are ready to go. And, and there are so many RVs here. They, they call this America's largest RV show for a reason. There's over a thousand new RVs uh, on display here. And uh, it's, a, it's a chance for us to uh, make new friends, uh, to uh, be reacquainted with old friends. And uh, we're gonna bring you with us, show you some of the RVs that caught our attention and introduce you to the sights and sounds of America's largest RV show. So come on along. The problem is you come to a show like this and you want every one of them. It was back in March in Salt Lake City that Leisure Travel Vans introduced the Unity RL, RL for Rear Lounge. They introduced that as kind of a concept vehicle. They won an award for it. Well now here at Hershey they're introducing it as a production model. It is now in production and ready for sale. So Rear Lounge RL stands for Rear Lounge. That's where we are right now. Uh, look at these nice little, it's like a lazy boy chair. You just, it's all remote control. You kick that up and you can put your feet back and chill out. And uh, it is so nice. It moves back and forth, really comfy. And you've got these awesome windows. Look at these windows. Aren't they, aren't they beautiful? I mean, we've got some shades that you can pull down, a screen, some shades. Oh, and over here, a wine rack. <laughs> is that cool or what? You can you can put your wine in there and they got a little little lip on it so the wine bottles aren't gonna fall out as you drive along. Got your TV. And your TV. And the these, sound bar. these beautiful lounge chairs have at night this is a Murphy bed. It makes into a near queen size bed. Let me show them how that pulls down. Alright, you show them. I'll get out of here and let you show them. Gonna move the cushions. this cushion. Pick this up. And last but not least, we're going to pull this down. And the bed is made. We have our TV in the front. We have a deep sink. We have our two burners and lots of storage space. But for dinner time, you have a full table and you can put people here as these front seats in the cab swivel around or in that uh, back there. So you've got actually seating for four here. It's pretty neat. How's this been received here at the show? Unbelievable. The lineup was halfway across the lot over here and it was just a steady flow. It's super spacious in there. Your seat belts for four. A uh, lot of room. You can you can entertain four people. Guys can you have two couples in there. They can be in different areas. Uh, it's just a great unit for that. Well, Nancy stopped me because she bought this very unit, and she was wondering where I stored everything. So we just so this is the Unity FX. This is the Unity FX. We've Same been one we have. We've had it online for a long time, and you asked me initially why were we buying this. I think your videos have been instrumental in forming our opinion. Really? Yeah, absolutely. We looked at this leisure is... we looked at leisure travel 4 years ago when we were looking at, at uh, getting a unit. We I couldn't find myself justifying the price, but then after having another van, 
for three and a half years and looking at what these are, I won't say it was a no-brainer, but I understood where the value was. Did you see our videos too? Oh yes, oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. All of he them. He watches them, I listen. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jennifer, show her where you store stuff, yeah. What oh, questions well, do you have? Jennifer will answer them. Some good suggestions. I'm learning too. I explained where how I do silverware, getting a tray and putting mm -hmm. it in the, the big drawer, and then I put my pots and pans and a suggestion of perhaps putting pots and pans where I keep our toaster oh, and need to check. fan and and different things. Uh, and I was thinking the instant pot would fit down it there. Would fit yeah, really it would fit good really down well there. down yeah. then. Steve, yeah. you were going to check for the. Uh, yeah, you're, we've got a set of the nested magmas. And yeah. they'll, they'll, fit, right they'll, they'll fit right in there. Yeah. Oh, they we will? Need, we need 14 inches. We got barely, but it'll fit. We did good in the entire. Ready for bed? I'm in the bathroom cleaning my teeth, and what do I hear? Your voice. He's in, laying in bed watching you two on, oh. on his iPhone. Is that a nice way of saying we're just boring and put you to sleep? <laughs> no, no. no. This is very cool. This is on the Travado, and look at this bike rack. Uh, Anthony. Hi. Tell me about this bike rack. Well, so this bike rack holds 100 pounds. You know, we've been doing these for a while now, and one thing our customers told us on the old racks was that when you would open this door, that thing would hit your head. And so the goal with this one, a little more practical, holds 100 pounds, comes down, and then all you gotta do is unscrew this here, maybe not as much as I did, but tighten it against the tires, and there you go. So very simple and easy to use. And if you don't want it, you know how it is in the van world. Everybody's modifying their own coaches to do what they want to do. You can take these portions off. I've seen people put boxes here. Or you can take this off and just remove the whole thing. So very simple to use and very simple to take on and off. Yeah, pretty cool bike rack. We love it. Okay, so I just walked a few more feet. And uh, it's not just the Travato that has this bike rack. Here it is on uh, the Coachman. And look at this, this is the same basic bike rack. This is such a handy thing. You put it on the door, you can use the door, it opens up. Um, it's a pretty expensive rack. It costs several hundred dollars as an option, but man, if you want to carry bikes, this is the way to do it. This is the first one, we don't have <laughs> And there's a third bike rack. Same basic principle. This is from uh, Thule in Sweden. And look, it mounts on the door, you can open the door. And uh, this is great. This is how it all drops down. You put your bikes on it. Uh, these bike racks are something that we're now seeing on most of the smaller RVs. And this is so handy. And this one is on the Sequence, which is a new Class B that Thor just came out with. Let's uh, show you that RV. This is very pleasant to the eye. It's very attractive. The uh, cabinets are, are just pretty, soft, look European. Comfortable, thick, cushioning, comfy. It's just, it's just really nice. And I like the bathroom in the back. I like this to hold your drinks, rest your back, and yet you obviously can make it into a big full bed. Hey, look, the cushions don't slide off. There are two seat belts back here, which is uh, something that I think all of us want more seat belts. Mike Snell, this is a really nice looking B van. Thank you, Mike. It's uh, the brand new 2020 uh, Thor Sequence. The brand new Class B being built by Thor. Uh, it's being built on a ProMaster chassis. It's actually a passenger van, which gives you windows all the way down the side and better uh, enhancements up in the cockpit. Now, uh, if it's a passenger van, that that's pretty unique. That means you're not going to have so much road noise. No, nope. They're actually windows manufactured by the OEM, um, and it's very quiet and it has no opportunities for leaks and creaks, as we call it. How long is this? This is a 20-foot, 8-inch van. And tell me about some of these uh, options that you have. On uh, we've got, so there are no options. Everything's standard. It's just incredible really? the number of features we have. From the wine guard system, that's, that's a uh, Wi-Fi booster, and also a, t a digital television antenna, to our multiplex system that can be operated by your iPhone or your Android, as well as um, Corian countertops, very nice 
Italian cabinetry, and we've got USB ports and 110 outlets everywhere in this coach. So there's two racks that run, lines that run down the entire length of the van. Those actually, we attach a solar panel on top of them. We have two cross members for if you want to use like a pod or if you want to use kayaks, they can go on these Thule racks. We have a Thule ladder that is actually compacted down and put in the back of the coach and with a magnet bar it can be put anywhere on the coach to get up on the, on the top and put your kayaks or whatever you want to do or, or, or clean off your solar. And then when you're done, that ladder goes inside your coach so the security of whatever's on top uh, can't be stolen. Okay, let's make our way up to the roof of this uh, sequence and see what's up here. Well, there's a nice big solar panel, look at that. And here's that roof rack, rack system that Mike was talking about. The wine guard Connect 2. And this is nice because you can use this system to store just about anything you want up here. One of the things I really like about this sequence is the design of the bathroom, how well they've used the space. We have the toilet, and then we have a drop-down sink. Faucet, turns around, put it away, you don't need it, that's great. Shower, shower curtain, storage, drawers, a couple of big drawers, always need storage space. Oh, this is a wardrobe, got a wardrobe in here. Okay, so we're always asked what RVs uh, can sleep somebody who's tall. Well, we've got a model here. Look how, how tall is he? I am just under 6'2". 6'2", and he's in the sequence and in the bed. I'm dimming every one of these. Wow. There's enough room. Yeah, wake me up in a half hour. So you guys are shopping? We just got here and, and but the main thing is we didn't know what we were gonna do when we retired, but when we saw you and Jennifer, Mike, you made it seem like it was doable. And so that got us into the place where we bought a class B RV and hit the road traveling and using you guys to give us our next steps so that we knew we would do it safely. Oh my gosh, yep. you're making us feel great. So is it all that I said it was? Actually, it's more. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's why we trusted the two of you is because you kind of told it like it was. And when we got there, it really was like that. It's so just, thank yeah. you. So for other people who yeah. are thinking, oh, I'll do this someday, what's yes. your advice? Don't wait. Just watch you guys. You make them feel safe and good on what they need to do next as they're going along the way and get started. Oh, good. Absolutely. There's lines everywhere. What's this line for? It's a, I'm in line for Chick-fil-A. I need some chicken strips. Now, Coach House is a little different. It is factory direct. They don't have a dealer network. They don't have dealers all over the country. You buy directly from their factory. They're in Nokomis, Florida. But they are really nice. This is the Ariba, and it is uh, our Class B. We like that a lot. And they have also a Class C, or they call it a B plus, the Platinum model. We'll show you both of those. We have been big fans of the Coach House Ariba Class B for a long time, and this is their 2020 model. And as you see, as you come through, you've got a big Norco refrigerator right here. Uh, it's got lots of room. Get your microwave above. The galley is facing the campsite, which is really nice because you can look out where the picnic table usually is. And if you look here, this is a screen. Isn't this nice? This is the screen that's on the other side, on the other side of the sliding door, so you don't have to worry about it, but it's always like open, so you get a nice breeze when you open that door. Really like that. Now check it out. Little place to uh, extend your work area for when you're cooking. And here are the beds. There are two twin beds uh, with a nice center aisle. This is the rear bath. It is all in the back. Let me show you. There's a door. Bye. Hello. <laughs> this is the door and when you come in here you can see you've got uh, the toilet area there you got a dedicated sink nice sink a medicine cabinet with lots of room in it 
so that's really handy. It keeps things from banging around. Uh, up above, some more storage. Of, you know, your cleaning supplies and toilet paper, stuff like that. And there's also storage underneath the sink. Very nice. And then there's also, right here, the uh, shower. And you can see it's a full stand-up dry shower. But there's even more storage. Look at here, how much storage you've got. A full wardrobe. You can get a lot of clothes in that hanging wardrobe. More storage under here. Big deep cabinets. Okay, I opened this up so that you can see the storage. You've got this side, I opened the cupboard doors, and then you have three on the opposite side as well. Just push and open. Lots of storage. That is a lot of storage, it isn't is. it? Yep, and then of course uh, everything is again controlled by a multiplex system. We're in the Platinum 2 from Coach House and this is lovely. It has three seat belts so you can have more passengers with you. This is so comfortable you just can't believe how comfy it is. It's decorated nicely. Got your microwave convection oven. Got this sink. Propane burners. A big refrigerator freezer, a shower, standalone shower, lots of room in there, and then the uh, toilet sink over on this side. Shut the door, and you have privacy. And inside the bathroom door, you have a nice mirror. You have the island bed, closets on both sides, storage up above windows that open nicely so you can get some cross ventilation and uh, about everything that you need there's only one step this is all the same level except for when you go up to where the uh, driver's seat and the passenger seat are there's a little step down there the platinum comes in several different models and this is the xl and uh do you like the lounge chairs it's got a little work area here here's the beds on the xl and in the back is the bathroom. There's a dedicated dry shower. Big, roomy. And uh, this has a privacy door. This is a huge wardrobe. Lots of room here. Oh my gosh, is this comfortable. Look at these lounge chairs. And this little switch here. I have got to find oh the switch. Oh my gosh, this look at that. I can just stretch right out on here, Put watch TV, up, television, you know. whatever all right, off. and it's time Big to do some work, today. I'll just put the seat back, now it's time to do a little bit of work, put my laptop up here, or you could just say, Mike, fetch me some food, and there's a table for you there, swings out of the way, this is pretty nice, very comfy. Um, it's there with the sports and everything, so, yeah. More and more of the RVs that we're seeing out there are made for off-road adventure. Carry your kayak, carry all your toys that you want to take with you to get out there in the middle of nowhere. This is the 2020 NOBO. It stands for No Boundaries. This is pretty cool. Your kitchen comes outside. Here's your burner. Got some storage there. Bear proof. There's your Dometic cooler. And then I want you to notice a couple of things uh, on this thing. Up above is a tent rack. You can put that on a rack up on top. So you sleep inside if you want, and also up above. So if you're sleeping up above, you might not want to sleep down below because you can use it as a toy hauler. Yes, Pleasure Way announced a brand new lineup to its models at the show. This is the Entour 2.0 and it is on the Ford 2500 Transit chassis. This is 19 feet 8 inches long, so it's really small. You can use this anywhere. It's a great second vehicle as well as an RV. And inside, well Jen will show you how comfortable and how spacious 19.8 feet can really be. First thing that catches your eye, it's nice and bright in here. Light interior. Got the bathroom. 
We have a window in there. We have the toilet. We have the shower head, so we can take a shower in there. Next, we have the refrigerator. Small freezer. Room for what you need. Drawers, storage. Storage. Heater, heat comes out down here. We have our sink. Nice sink, nice big sink. We have our cooktop burner and microwave down, drawer for your pots and pans, storage, lots of storage, we can go right down the line. We've got a wardrobe, open it up, storage, table, wardrobe. Entour has an extremely comfortable sofa, it has a table that you can use different ways as a workstation, as a table, push it out of the way, move it over, Whatever you want to do, it's here for you. You can control everything here. You've got your lighting, your uh, backlight, front lights, water pump, your tanks. You can monitor your tanks, your temperature. Everything is here. Even you can turn your sofa into a bed. So the European influence is showing itself in all sorts of RVs here at Hershey, even in teardrops. This is a model called the Barefoot that New Camp brought in. Now it's not for sale here in the U.S., but judging by the response it's getting at Hershey, you can bet it soon will be. So this little teardrop has more room than you'd think. So this, this little lounge area is really nice. You can set up a table here, but it makes into a really nice bed. You've got a cooktop and you got a little refrigerator. And for a teardrop, I've never seen this, you even have a bathroom complete with a shower. Up above, a nice roof vent. Storage along the sides. Pretty neat. Big full windows and a screen. And a nice rear window. Look at all these people looking in at us. This is really nice. Well, there you are. You're in line again. Yeah, I'm going to pick up a salad. Yes, ma'am. When it comes to luxury class ARVs, it's pretty hard to beat the Tiffin Allegro bus. At almost half a million dollars, you have to appreciate their motto, roughing it smoothly. Come on in, how you doing? Hey, Bob Tiffin? Yes, sir, good to see you. Well, this is a 45 OPP Allegro bus. It's got the it's got the ISL engine in it. It's on the power glide chassis. It's got the Allen's transmission. It's got a 10 kW diesel generator, three roof fires, and it's got the heated tile floor, which is a great option in the wintertime. You put, come out of the bed and put your feet on the floor, and it's warm. And it's got solid hardwood cabinets made of cherry with a glazed cherry finish on it. It's got full body paint on the outside, solid steel undercarriage below the floor. It's got aluminum tubing for the sidewall and roof and got a one-piece fiberglass roof cap. So wow. it's really a nice vehicle and it is for sale. <laughs> <laughs> you inspired us to buy an RV. <laughs> Really? If you drive an RV, you gotta listen to Mike and Jerry for all the time. So. <laughs> That's oh, what we do. This guy's carrying a walkie-talkie with this camera. What do you do with that? Well, we have friends with us, so if they get somewhere else and we're trying to find them, that's the best way to, <laughs> to talk to them and find them. We have a, our dog Maggie. She's a uh, an Australian Shepherd Standard Poodle, Aussie Doodle. And so uh, while I'm watching your YouTube videos, she hears the music and she knows that the picture of Bo is gonna be on there. And so she runs up to the television and waits to see Bo. 
and so she's looking for your dog oh. and it's so funny so I have to you know either mute the television so she doesn't hear your music or she'll walk wait and wait for Bo to come on and sometimes you have Bo you know on the uh, some of your videos and she waits to see Bo. Bo is then so. makes a cameo in every video we do just about. So <laughs> she it? loves it. So oh, that's it's so fun. much fun. So Thank Bo you. has a fan. Yes. <laughs> Bo, you have a fan. Maggie loves you. <laughs> so we just had dinner at the Hershey Hotel in Hershey, Pennsylvania and it is dessert time. So what do you suppose you would get for dessert? I suppose it'd be something chocolatey like, you know, chocolate cake. That's what I'm getting, the chocolate mousse slice of cake. Yeah, well, anybody can get that. I'm getting something more unique. I'm getting a chocolate martini. Okay, this is the start of it, right? Yes, chocolate caramel martini. Oh my goodness. I guess I gotta say when in Hershey, you do what they do in Hershey, right? Enjoy. Whew. Okay, here's the first taste. Let's see. It's, it's very chocolatey. Well, here's to Hershey chocolate. I don't know how to break this to you, Mike, but that's not Hershey chocolate. That's good dive of chocolate. Really? Well, it's still pretty good. This is absolutely beautiful. Is mine Hershey's chocolate? Hershey's chocolate mousse brownie cake. Cool. Sounds, sounds good. Looks good. I'm sure it is. Thank you. Well, Mike, I am at least eating local. This is Hershey's chocolate. Hey, wait a minute. I'm back to my chocolate martini. Okay, so maybe most of the chocolate was uh, Godiva. But look, in the very bottom of it, in the very bottom, it's a Hershey Kiss. So this is drinking local. Ah. Hershey chocolate. And with the bill, you get even more Hershey chocolate kisses. Hey, look who we found! It's our it's our friend, uh, Traveling Robert. Hello, from everybody. Traveling Robert. Hey, Robert. How are you, man? I'm doing great. I'm kind of exhausted already. You know, it's one of those RV shows that is so big that uh, that it's, it's very hard to see everything. Okay, so um, what do you see that's different at Hershey this year than uh, last year? More people pre-wiring for solar and uh, that kind of thing, you know, USB ports everywhere. They finally are figuring it out that people finally. actually use these things, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. USB ports everywhere and I see more TVs in front of the couch and not sideways or, you know, in a, in a weird place. Yeah. So I, I, I think that most of them are, are doing a little better interior design. great time meeting new people and seeing folks that we've met in other years this is just and all the new products everything that's out there that we get to see first yeah. it's fun so it's, it really is a great RV if you've never been here you should put it on your bucket list and of course uh, we're now in the fall season of RV shows uh, California's coming up we'll be there and uh, there's really an RV show in your neighborhood as well so to check out that schedule and try and attend one because they really are fun this night it's like a big family reunion. It is. Yeah. Well, we're Mike and Jennifer. Hope you enjoyed this tour of America's largest RV show, the 2019 edition at Hershey. And uh, we invite you to subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. Thank you for watching, fellow travelers. Happy trails. <laughs>